Okay, on to the next Skip the Line reaction, man. And this one is Gregory Allen Isakov. Uh, we've never reacted to this artist ever. This is a song called The Fall. This is also a request, a Skip the Line request from Vicky Smith. So I really appreciate that. As I've mentioned in all my videos up until this point, uh, all my videos today up until this point, um, is that I will be catching up all of the Skip the Line reactions from this past week. All of them right uh, there's not a terrible amount of them but we will get to all of them obviously i didn't drop for the past three days because i was dealing with a couple of things which i did um um sort of explain in the a, a post that i dropped on the sphere and on youtube um lots coming uh, we're going to wrap up the skip the line reactions the skip the line uh, booking form will not open until these ones are all caught up and all being dropped and then we've got um three series dropping next week as well so vicky smith thanks very much for this as a brand new artist to the uh channel so let's see what we got over here let's go in this it's, it's got a very much like a folky feel to it ivory ball opera glass angles of the tag you hear blood is thick brothers and sisters bitch you don't know where anybody's at time was a bust he thought you'd better be tough Nobody gets past You tremble in the world It's gonna be tough because nobody gets past a troubling laugh okay. You tremble in the world I think that's what he said depiction of um okay so these the open lands mountains right mountains to climb if it's it feels like this entire uh, um sort of video um is sort of like a metaphor for life to a certain degree so you kind of feel like in life you're deserted you feel like you've got heels to climb it feels like life is a circus at times and you're trying to accomplish certain acts and with accomplishing certain acts it's acts that um either benefit yourself or are for the entertainment of others so we kind of you can play that off as like a facade that we try to that we try to put on so that other people can get to like us right so it's kind of like a show to a certain degree and i love the fact that it's also depicting a whole bunch of different characters owls which are kind of nocturnal they don't sleep um as well um and also the, like the wolves, the carcass of the whatever, the bull or whatever else. So, so it's also depicting life as in terms of like death, right? We live, we die. Uh, and it's all what we do in between it. This over here, sort of walking on the ball and things like that, which is kind of like a circus act. We do that so that people can get to like us. People can, you know, we do that to sort of like flaunt ourselves um, a bit so that, you know, we can make ourselves likable to a certain degree. Amongst all of that, there's going to be the beasts. There are going to be um, the this over here, where you kind of feel like these are the more stronger, more powerful um, creatures that can dominate, right? Playing the game of poker, which is the poker of life, like the game of life to a certain degree, right? Where you got to bluff your way in and bluff your way out. Um, if you don't have the right hand, if you weren't given a good hand, um, going back and back, um, it's actually a very, very cool. Um, this over here with the actual holding of the, the the ball with the fish inside it it's almost kind of like depicting it's like you just swimming alone in this like isolated space to a certain degree but also making it like a crystal ball like being able to tell your journey and in in this sort of instance and it's almost like this evil she looks evil over there 
where she's like watching in, but you really have nowhere to go. You sometimes feel trapped. So that crystal ball, she knows that all you have is failure. There's nowhere for you to go to a certain degree. You're just going to swim around in circles, right? And that's how I can feel. So that's got like an evil notion. I really like this video because it's very interesting. It's very different. And I like the song. It sounds folky. It sounds very <laughs> Life is a balancing act, right? You always feel like you're on a high wire, right? Trying not to fall, trying to balance, right? And it's kind of like standing on a fence. And on the other side of that fence, it's good and bad. And which side do you fall on? Or are you a fence sitter? Do you just stand on the line and you because you're too scared to fall one way or the other way because of criticism, judgments, and that kind of thing? So really nice little depiction there as well. We're still holding our breath. Seven of diamonds, seven sort of could possibly be depicted as kind of like a lucky card, right? Seven, 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 which is kind of like a jack up jackpot number. You actually know that from a sense of um, like gambling, life's a gamble to a certain degree. And sometimes you're going to hit the jackpot, sometimes you're not. Sometimes you're going to be lucky, sometimes you're not. Maybe that's the depiction of that. I'm not entirely sure, but seven is usually associated with a lucky number. that depiction over there everybody that came before you right and i love that they've got the roots and they've got um the, the animals and the species and the people that have died before like underneath your ground those people were very much part of the system those people that are beneath you, the ones beneath the ground that form part of this entire system that were once part of this entire system once traveled that road as well so it's not like you're not just there alone in the sense that this journey feels like it's only you um, that are going through this journey everyone goes to this journey no one gets out alive your lawsuit isn't going to have pockets at the end of the day um so it's like this is just it's, it's kind of like playing into the cycle of life to a certain degree and how it's like everybody went through it right we all are to a certain degree disposable um we all break a little we all break a little beautiful song though wow when we fall and everybody keeps saying get up is what you're gonna do um, i fall and everybody keeps saying get up that is what you do what else are you gonna do you're gonna stay down yes we fall we fall and we fall for a reason we fall to learn lessons we fall to uh, um um to gain purpose and value if we never fell there would be no value to life right the reason there is value to life is because we fall that's where we that's where we acquire our lessons and our learning and our meaning for our existence right if there was no hardships if we never fell we would never be able to appreciate what it feels like to 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 be floating right those are falling is probably falling and failing is the most is is arguably and i always say arguably but to me it's not even an arguable uh, matter falling and failing is the most important thing of your existence right because you learn to fail better right and you learn to pick yourself up that's where the virtue lies there's no virtue in in a, an easy life the virtue doesn't have there the virtue is you falling and being able to get up dust yourself off and then better yourself the next day or better yourself in the next situation the virtue lies there the virtue lies in your impending demise in certain activities that you do and when i say demise it's not sort of your end but it feels like it right because every time you feel like you have failed there's a sense of fear that's very tied into your mortality right and that's where the value lies because we know that this you know there's only a certain amount of uh, days there's only a certain amount of breaths there's only a certain amount of heartbeats right 
We can't stay down. If we stay down, it's a failed existence. We have to get up. And that's where the value lies. And everybody keeps saying, get up. Get up. depiction is actually quite amazing right because it kind of like um, depicts the circus the circus which is basically your life that circus although might as painful as it may be is kind of your comfort zone so that you could even look at that as part of your insecurities your insecurities is what keeps you comfortable your insecurities is what keeps you guarded right because it like it keeps you sheltered somewhat but when that gets blown away your comfort zone gets blown away what are you going to do well you got to trudge that journey anyway, right? You can't stay in that comfort zone forever. Eventually, it's going to blow away, right? The things that you are comfortable with, and with that, you're going to find enlightenment. So in a certain way, you actually think that your insecurities and your sort of comfort zone might be a negative thing, but you actually having that blow away is actually a super positive thing, right? Because it actually gets you to go and experience life. It gets you to go and trudge this journey. It gets you to actually tread this road, to climb those hills, right? And you notice that change is important in life, right? In order for you to see what's on the other side, you're going to have to hike. You're going to have to, you're going to have to take that journey up to the top. Or else you'll never know what's on the other side. And you're not going to do it if you stay stuck in a tent because it's it's your comfort zone. Your comfort zone, depicting that as a circus is actually quite interesting because a circus is there primarily to entertain people, right? And it, But it's all it's all like a facade to a certain degree. It's, it's a distraction to a certain degree. And a lot of us use that. We use that tent to shield who we really are because we don't really want to show the world, Right? who we really are so we act a certain way so that they are distracted and feel like they really know like like they they don't see the the, the cracks within you right but when that blows away you're just left there vulnerable and you need to deal with that vulnerability and you need to realize that, that vulnerability is power and that vulnerability is what's going to get you to move forward like that <laughs> I love that the other girl that was actually on the ball uh, sort of like blew up into a whole bunch of different dubs. But now the dubs on the string is who's actually helping somebody else also kind of showing that no man is an island, right? We're in this system together for a reason because we are here to help each other. So those birds are now sort of keeping that person balanced and it's taken a bit of the workload off showing that we do also need others. We, 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 we can't just do this alone right and by um um dropping our pride right and allowing others to to assist to a certain degree in your life might just take the the, the load off a bit and it might assist you to not fall all of the time so i like that <laughs> also the, the the falling of the feather um as well so it's like now you know you, you with the, with the help of others and with um introspecting and with dealing with life head on and with facing your insecurities and things like that you can actually take flight you can fly you, you know you can take flight and you can take charge of your life and it doesn't mean that you're not going to fall but when you fall the fall will be lighter it's not going to just be like a lead balloon that hits the ground it'll actually just be this light spiral 
right? And that light spiral is basically the depiction of, okay, I'm not going to fall this, I'm not going to fall hard this, this time, right? So I don't know, I'm, I'm neither here nor there with that, that particular uh, interpretation, but um, I, th I think there is definitely a beautiful tie in with the <laughs> Fall will be lighter. I think that's actually a, be a really beautiful song. I love the music video of this as well. I don't. I'm not entirely sure if it was meant to tie in so hectically to the song. I actually think it was. Um, but yeah, I, I think this was just a, a tale of life, man. It's a tale of success and failure, and how it's it's okay to fail. It's not only okay to fail. It's important to fail because if you did, if you never failed, you wouldn't know what success means. And you know, wouldn't know there would be no value to your success. Failing is important. It's important for human beings. It builds character. It makes you strong. I love this song. I love. Please let me know what you think down below. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.